Welcome to my Bake Escapes, a travel vlog. Although it has been officially fall for weeks now, it has not felt like fall in Central California. So I decided to go to the coast to escape the heat and find the fall vibes I have been waiting for. I took a day trip to Half Moon Bay, California to visit a few pumpkin farms. There is a lot of agriculture grown in Half Moon Bay, including beans, Brussels sprouts, artichokes, leafy greens, and pumpkins. They also have a lot of nurseries and Christmas tree farms. Half Moon Bay is about 40 minutes south of San Francisco and it is right off of the Pacific Coast Highway. In this vlog, I share some of the delicious baked items I enjoyed, the pumpkin farms I visited, as well as a delicious lunch we enjoyed at a historical restaurant right on the beach. I researched a few pumpkin farms ahead of time, but I also went with the attitude of let's see where the road takes me. The first stop was right off the 92 as you drive into Half Moon Bay. This is Four Seas Pumpkin Farm. They have a large farm full of pumpkins. They have a lot of different size pumpkins to choose from. The farm is decorated for Halloween and walking around looking at all the pumpkins in the field was a lot of fun. This day the ground was pretty muddy so make sure you wear shoes you don't mind getting dirty if you do visit. This was the only farm I visited that actually had a field of pumpkins. I believe this is where they grew the pumpkins. And it was fun just walking through the field looking for that perfect pumpkin. They have plenty of parking and they also have portable restrooms for visitors. After our visit to Four Seas Pumpkin Farm, we decided to drive into town. The downtown Half Moon Bay area is so nice to visit. There are so many cute shops and restaurants to stop in at, and they were actually advertising their art and pumpkin festival that is going to be happening on October 19th and 20th. I was in the mood for a treat and coffee, so we stopped at Moonside Bakery and Cafe on Main Street. I have been visiting this bakery for years. It is one of my favorites in the area. Every time I visit, there tends to be a long line, which is fine because it gives me time to view the desserts and sweets in the display case. They offer a full menu of food and sweet treats as well as coffees. They always have so many delicious baked goods available. I ordered the pumpkin sugar cookie and my friend ordered the pumpkin cream croissant. I also ordered a vanilla latte and everything was delicious. They have a cute seating area that is decorated for fall and there are several other businesses in the building. On our way back to the car, we walked past Half Moon Bakery. I was impressed by their display window, so I decided to stop in to see what kind of treats they have. As soon as I walked in, I could smell fresh donuts and sugar, which is what I love to smell when walking into a bakery. They offer a variety of cookies, breads, and cakes, and the lady told me that they start baking everything at 2 a.m. I ordered a few cookies, one of which was a lemon ricotta cookie, and it was delicious. After loading up on sweets and caffeine, we drove down the Pacific Coast Highway to Andriotti Farms. This place was the largest farm we visited with so many variety of pumpkins and activities. There's plenty of parking and it's a pretty large farm. There's so much to see. I really enjoyed my time here. They have cut your own sunflowers, a corn maze, a monster truck ride, and a hay ride. They offer some treats from Half Moon Bakery. They don't charge an entrance fee, but have fees for activities. I like that you can pick and choose which activities you want to do and just pay for those. We were considering taking a hayride, but the driver was on lunch, so instead we just took our time walking around the farm. 
I really liked the different displays that they had. They had pumpkins all over, they had sunflowers, and they had some really cool old tractors and trucks. It was just so beautiful and there was lots to see. They have a huge corn maze and this is also the field where they have the sunflowers that you can pick. They had these stacks of pumpkins that were labeled, which was really cool because I got to learn the different types of pumpkins there are. I had no idea there was such a variety of pumpkins. And this was my favorite. It looks so weird, but I loved it. Right next door to Andriotti Farms is Farmer John's. They also have a wide variety of pumpkins and they offer a hayride as well. They offer a variety of items you can buy and they have these beautiful sugar cookies made by a local baker, Ray Marie Bakes. The cookies are beautiful and delicious. You can also buy corn and Brussels sprouts, pumpkin carving kits, and lots more. The person running the booth was very helpful. She showed me which pumpkins were good for baking. I really enjoyed my time walking around Farmer John's farm. They have these giant, beautiful pumpkins. They have plenty of these cute wagons you just take around with you and load them up with the pumpkins that you pick. Farmer John's Pumpkin Farm has a lot of different pumpkins to choose from. They've got these really cool looking ones, these acorn pumpkins that taste like squash, and also the sugar pumpkins, which are the ones that you bake with. They have a lot of different photo opportunities, like these giant hay bales that you can sit on with your family. Overall, I had a great time walking around and discovering all of the different pumpkins. And towards the end of our visit to Farmer John's Pumpkin Farm, the sun decided to pop out of those clouds and join us, and that was really nice. This farm was a lot of fun. And on our way out, we saw this group of men riding horses, which was kind of cool. So after visiting the pumpkin farms, we drove out to Miramar Beach to have lunch. We stopped in at Miramar Beach Restaurant. The restaurant has a good amount of parking and it is right across the street from the beach. When we entered the restaurant, we asked the gentleman at the podium if we could sit on the patio so that we had an ocean view while we ate. You can hear the waves crashing, which was just such a wonderful treat as we ate lunch. There is a lot of seating on the patio and they also have fire pits with seating around. They started off by bringing us some sourdough bread and butter. They have a pretty large menu with a lot of options. There's something for everybody. I already knew what I wanted. I had been here before and so I already knew what I was going to order, but my friend hadn't been here. So we took time to look at the menu and they offer so many different options. There's seafood, salad, sandwiches, and then they also have steak and risotto and they have have so much history on this restaurant it's actually over a hundred years old and they have the history written on the menu which is kind of cool and they also offer live music certain days so we started out with the cheesy garlic bread which was delicious and I ordered the seafood chowder which is so tasty if you love clam chowder or seafood chowder this one is delicious and my friend ended up ordering the crab ravioli, which she also liked. Everything was super tasty and that beautiful ocean view 
and the breeze and the coolness was just what we were looking for for this day. We had such a fun time exploring Half Moon Bay, visiting the pumpkin farms, and having delicious treats and a delicious lunch at the end of our visit. If you are in Northern California and you're looking for a nice day trip, I highly recommend Half Moon Bay. Thanks for watching and have a sweet day.